Hello, it's Andrew Eborn here and welcome to another edition of the Andrew Eborn Show. And one of my favourite bits about this show is bringing on new unsung talent. And I'm delighted that I'm joined again by Heart Flow Poet. How are you, Heart? I am very well, thank you, Andrew. Thanks for having me back. It's an honour and a pleasure. Feeling good? It's always a joy. I, I particularly, what I loved about it last time is that you came along and you gave us a sort of George Michael inspired bit about faith and the wonderful story about that. And you were telling me in between times, you've got wonderful loads and loads and loads of these poems. Yes. Yeah. Over the time. Yeah. There's, there's a lot more written down than there are memorized. And a lot of them are kind of half finished, just blabberings and brain dumps, you know, but, uh, but some of them have um, formed into full pieces, which I ended up memorizing and, and sharing in various formats. Yeah. And, and what, I, what I particularly loved as well is that each of them is as it is, it's heart felt as well as heart flow and, and then that sort of side, because what happens is these are all from emotional experience. You came to poetry quite late in life, didn't you? Yes, I did, yeah. I was about 28 when I started writing. 28, uh, two and eight, what a state. That's what yeah. they say, Cockney rhyming slang. Yes, yeah, we know all about that, yeah. So it's got to be good. But this particular one, um, you were telling me in, in the break that this yeah. was inspired because a friend of yours said they'd like you to write a short one. You had to sort of, not, not one of these long <laughs> rambling ones, something yeah. simple for Instagram or TikTok, which exactly, I think is about yeah. 60 seconds. Um, yeah. But but you managed to cross, it's a bizarre way of doing it. You just say, I've only got a little bit of space and therefore mm -hmm. normally I let the whole thing flow. What was the actual story other than the inspiration of Instagram? What was the story behind this particular poem? Yeah, so she wanted something shorter and I wanted to um, challenge myself to be able to say something inspirational, something that could touch people, something that when they say, oh, you're a poet, give us one then, I could quickly drop this one and um, it wouldn't take too much out of their day, it wouldn't give them my whole life story, you know, it would um, hopefully just leave them feeling uplifted and inspired and that was the challenge and um, yeah, this piece came out called Perspectives and it was inspired by the, uh, the process of using Instagram yourself as you kind of add these filters to these photos, you can turn one scene looking into quite a different scene, you know, by just moving a few sliders around. And it got me thinking about how that's quite uh, similar to how the human brain works. You know, we can choose different perspectives. Two different people can go through the same exact same circumstance, choosing different perspectives on how they view it. And they have a very different life experience and a different experience of that particular a situation in their life and so it got me musing on that how just like Instagram we can make a few little tweaks with our mental programming and what we choose to believe and the meanings we choose to give the things that happen to us in life suddenly the picture can look a lot brighter and a lot nicer um, through doing that so it inspired this small piece and it's called Perspectives and it's 90 seconds long so today it's my shortest piece the longest one being almost 10 minutes so but well, what I love about this heart is that the introduction to the piece is longer than the piece itself. It actually is, yeah. People often say that to me about poetry. They're like, oh, you should maybe say less about, you know, the pieces and their inspiration. And I, I, I like to share the story behind it and, and what led me to putting pen to paper, you know. And um, I think in some way that inspires people that they can do the same, you know, if they feel inspired in life, they could pick up a pen and maybe write a poem or song about it too. And um, who knows what's going to come out. Fantastic. Well, the poet heart, in all heart flow poets, I'm handing the mic over to you for your 90 seconds. Thank you so much. This piece is called Perspectives and I thank you for having me and thank you all for listening. You know, it's kind of funny. How just a few small adjustments can change your whole perspective. Turn the brightness up a little, increase the contrast, bring the shadows into focus and add some more. Or take it away. Everything that you ever do or ever say is going to affect this world in some way. Every thought that you think, every word that you speak and every action you take acts as the next brushstroke on the grand canvas of your life. And remember, it's always up to you where you paint that next stroke. So make those little adjustments that you need to make so that things look perfect from your eyes. The most phenomenal picture that you have ever seen because your life is your masterpiece. So start painting. 
and all the brightness and the colors and the contrast and the warmth and the shadows and everything else that makes you so magnificently you. Don't hold back, add it all, every damn last drop so that when your soul finishes this next masterpiece, when that final stroke has finally come to pass, future generations will look on in awe and wonder at how beautiful the masterpiece of your life really was. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate you. Thank you. Very much. Yeah. <laughs> People never know. Into... <laughs> oh, we've got an audience in the background as well. We've got, got our groupies in the background here. Yeah. Millions of people. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, With voices totally that I recognize. Yeah. Niall, the yeah. heart flow poet. Thank you very much for being my guest. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me, Andrew. It's been a pleasure and I'd be happy to be back anytime. Looking forward to it. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, my friend. Bye bye.